Hello, I'm Brandon Gorton. I'm with Journey Team, and I'm going to be talking about some tips and tricks related to dynamic CRM licensing, specifically for sales, and some of the differences between the sales professional and sales enterprise level licenses. First off, I'm going to talk a little bit about conversation intelligence, which is a new feature to the CRM stack. And what this allows you to be able to do is to record phone calls as they come into Dynamic CRM and be able to record those insights, have AI kind of identify action items, so on and so forth, related to talking points that happen within the conversation. As of right now, there are benefits of using the sales enterprise level license because you get access to conversation intelligence where you would not get access to conversation intelligence if you, if you were to use sales professional. Microsoft is kind of pushing its usage because you can kind of see here as far as this is in the licensing guide, October 2023, where uh, the included capacity is activated conversation intelligence users receive unlimited hours a user per month for those that are licensed. And these are the, specifically the sales insights capabilities included within sales enterprise. Also, from, the, from a learn.microsoft.com article, you can see here it's kind of doing a comparison between what is included within Sales Copilot from a conversation intelligence perspective as compared to Sales Enterprise or Sales Premium. And then here, when it comes to some of the inbound and outbound call capabilities in whether you're using CRM and or you're using Teams, what does this look like? And from a Sales Copilot perspective, inbound phone calls are not automatically generating conversation intelligence and you do not have access to those. If you are using conversation intelligence for Teams meetings, where you are generating these Teams meetings from Teams, this is included in the capacity. Compared to Sales Enterprise and Sales Premium, where inbound phone calls, and this is one of the cool features with conversation intelligence inside of the uh, Sales Hub, inside of Dynamic Serum for Sales, is that you'll get the call pop up and you get unlimited access to conversation intelligence with inbound phone calls, not just creating Teams meetings or phone calls going out that are not associated to your telephony system. And then from uh, meetings created with Teams meetings, you you get access to conversation intelligence from both perspectives, right? Using the Microsoft Sales Copilot app for Teams, as well as unlimited Microsoft Sales Copilot hours included with Sales Premium and Sales Enterprise level license. So you kind of get a, a little bit more capability from a Sales Enterprise level perspective compared to just having Sales Copilot by itself. Another feature that I wanted to bring up is Sales Enterprise is kind of the the best of most of the worlds that are available out there from a licensing perspective, it comes with so much more compared to Sales Pro, and you still get a subset of that which is, is included inside of Sales Premium. For example, Sales Accelerator capabilities are included inside of Sales Enterprise, and you get a number of sequences that you can use to generate your tasks with the Sales Accelerator, even with the Sales Enterprise level license. So in this case, you get 1,500 records connected to any defined sequence per environment per month. So that is pretty big. I mean, it means that you can't go completely bananas as far as how you're using your sequences, but there's a lot of value that you get there. And you, it's already included inside of your license if you have a sales enterprise level license. Some other considerations are related to the number of custom tables. So from a sales enterprise level, you get unlimited access to create whatever custom tables that you need for your unique business objectives. With sales professional and team member license, you have use rights of up to 15 custom tables in that given app. So you are very limited as far as what you can do from a custom table perspective. So think of if you have a number of lookup references or, or reference tables that you need in your specific organization, sales professional and a team member license may not be the right fit for you and you might be better served by going with the enterprise level license. And again, in the licensing guide, you can kind of see here uh, sales use rights, it just kind of lays, lays it out a little bit better, is again, custom tables, you get 15 max tables per each of those applications. You can have more than that, but you can only have 15 available within the application for the end users to have either read access to or to be able to edit, create, so on and so forth. The last item that I wanted to bring up 
is related to managed environments. Now this is, this is still a new feature to the dynamic space and it's starting to get rolled out and there are a lot of people that are interested in this. So some of the considerations from a licensing perspective is your Dynamics Enterprise license gives you access to managed environments within the context of the app. So remember, if you're planning on using managed environments, that could be a gotcha that you need to take into consideration as far as licensing use cases in line to use managed environments. And that's some of the features that I really like within the Dynamics CRM application that are new and kind of some of the value that's offered with that enterprise level application, which is generally what we recommend customers. Hopefully this was helpful and please let us know if you have any further questions and or need assistance deciphering the licensing guide and understanding what license you need to solve your unique business problems. Thanks, bye-bye.